Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Cycling Dane Extra channel. Macho van der Poel is of course one of the biggest names in cycling and it was a great shame that last year we didn't see him compete fully in the cyclocross season and this is of course the back injuries that he had been fighting with and of course we saw him crash at the Olympics. But Macho van der Poel did make a return to top tier racing in Milano San Remo and even managed to get a third place finish in the race which was absolutely spectacular but in this video today we're going to look at the race where he took part in the first stage race the copy Bartoli stage race and in particular we're going to look at the finish of stage four this stage was 152 kilometers long from Monte Catini to Monte Catini and the riders had several uncategorized climbs only three categorized climbs along the way and this would be a stern challenge for Macho van der Poel, but it did look like a profile that could suit him, especially since the field wasn't the top level of names. Macho van der Poel was part of a breakaway early on, and he did try and get away and get up the road to do a heroic, massive attack that we've seen in the past from him and the likes of Tare Pogaccia. However, this didn't work out, and Macho van der Poel was unfortunately brought back. But Macho van der Poel, despite the early attack, does manage to stay in this very elite group that has made it all the way to the finish and we can just about see Macho van der Poel there in the group just behind a quick step alpha vinyl rider and he doesn't pounce too soon he makes sure that he stays behind the quick step rider he hasn't got any teammates Ethan Hayton's in, in there and Macho van der Poel just getting covered there quick step doing him a very solid favor here but Macho van der Poel just before 100 meters to go he does make that dash through the line one-on-one -on -one drag race with Ethan Hayter but Macho van der Poel has the bigger kick the bigger engine and there we go Macho van der Poel takes his first win in 2020 and what a sensational comeback for the Flying Dutchman really really impressive from him to take a win so early on into coming back and yeah, going strength to strength. But for the next steps, he is going to the Dwarfs of Lundgren, a race he's won before. And of course, he's also going to the Ronde van Lundgren, another race he's also won. And the Amstel Gold, another race he's also won. And then we come to Paro Bay, which he was dearly loved. And then we've got this double header of the Giro and the Tour de France, which would be very interesting. How much of the Giro will he actually ride? Will he do all of it? And equally, last year we saw in the Tour de France that he didn't actually ride all of the Tour de France, but there is no Olympics to be preparing for, so potentially he will stay longer. Who knows, but it's going to be very interesting to follow Macho van der Poel, and it's just great to see the Flying Dutchman back where he belongs, and, and hopefully there'll be many race wins to come. Anyways, this is just a quick video from Macho van der Poel's first victory. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below what you think Macho van der Poel would do this season and help us get to a thousand subscribers on the Cycling Day Extra. Thank you very much for watching and as always, have a nice day.